Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and I'm having a little play today and I'll show you what I'm uh, doing here. But before I show you the project of the day and then another thing that we're going to do for the day, I wanted to also show you that I have some free digitals, uh, some free downloads on my Kofi website, K-O-F-I. <laughs> and um, I will link these in the description box below. You can just go to my coffee shop on that website and you can see all of my free digitals. And um, this is a fall ephemera piece and um, we've got some little sayings and then some pumpkin spice kind of coffee looking stuff and then some little pumpkins some more tags and maybe a little um, journal spot and then this is a sheet a journal page for you and then this is a journal page for you and I'm gonna get um, these two sheets cut out and I'm gonna fold them so that you can see just how nice they would look in a journal signature All right, here are these two pages. And once I fold this one in half, and I didn't uh, print anything on the back sides of these. You totally can, so you don't have a white page on the back. But that would be, how pretty would that be as the beginning, the very start of your journal signature? I just thought it was very cute. Have that as the front of your journal signature and then that is the back side of it. Too cute. Lots of room for journaling or to add a picture or whatever. And then this one folded. It's too cute. If I could fold correctly and it be lined up. I can't stand when I do that. So there is that one too cute. So you've got three pumpkins there on the front with some wildflowers and then you've got the butt end of two other pumpkins and then some pretty florals for the back side. How cute is that together. So this one I printed smaller. You can print it as tall as big as this one full uh, page. I just printed this one a little shorter because I would like for it to um, kind of mat whatever page I put behind it. So again, these are free on my coffee website and I pronounce it that way because it's K-O-F-I. <laughs> Uh, but these three sheets, totally free on my coffee website, and I will link that in the description box below. And that is really, truly a um, thank you for your support here on my YouTube channel and supporting mom over on her channel. Um, I will say that... Um, tomorrow, September 19th, marks uh, the one year anniversary of my daddy's passing. And um, it has not been an easy uh, few days around here. Um, grief is um, a weird, weird, weird emotion. I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, a weird um, transition. <laughs> all the things um but anyways yes one year since daddy passed away and um if we are a little bit uh, more somber and silent on our youtube channels that is why and um, we'll get back with you as soon as we can um another kit that i made and is available on our website at scrapbookingwithme.com is this one and it is Autumn Afternoon, that's what I named it. Uh, this page is probably my favorite out of the entire kit. I have kind of collaged on it for you. So, like when you fold this up, you've got this beautiful piece on the front, 
that beautiful piece on the back and I have also lined all of these on the back with the kind of neutral page that I put in with this kit. So all of this is together. Autumn Afternoon is 10 pages. Seven of them are journal pages and three of them are ephemera pages. So that's one page there. Here is another. Let's see when you fold it. You've got that beautiful piece right there. Love that. Look at this one. I love the background. That It just turned out really, really well. Fold it like that. Oh, we've got a helicopter circling over. And then there's that neutral page. And I guess I just went ahead and put the neutral on the back side too. So there's the neutral page. And this could be used um, for any journal not just your fall journals if you wanted to um, buy this kit and just have this um, neutral page to use over and over and over in your journals this one it took a little time to get all of those pumpkins on there but I really like that one it's light it's uh, light enough that you could write on it and then of course lined it on the back too pretty pumpkin and sunflowers and then this page, nice bold page, fold it over, and you've got that nice little look there. And on the back side would be that. Pretty. Okay, and then this floral page. And you can't see on the camera, but even the white flowers, you can see the outlines of all of them. It's a very pretty floral and it does match that collage page from earlier and then I made um, made you a sheet of page borders so these will could uh, be cut out individually and used on the edges of pages and you also have a lace border that matches the same color as the um, lace that was on the collage page that I showed you but you can use that as a border and I made it um, like a tan craft background so when you're putting your lace on your pages you don't have a white background back behind it I thought that was kind of ingenious of me to think of but there's a whole page of page borders or you could use them as belly bands or side tucks okay and then here is the next ephemera page and I have printed these on cardstock and my printer um, didn't pull the cardstock in like it should have so it went to the side so that's why I barely have any edging over here I still have plenty that I can fussy cut around it but um, it just didn't pull the wheels in my printer didn't pull so it messed it up but this is it just act like it's perfectly centered on this cardstock. So we've got hexagons you can cut out. And then these are little um, sayings, word phrases that you can cut out and put on the bottom or top of your page. I thought those were cute. Um, then we have word phrases here. We have a couple of journaling cards, a smaller journaling card. And then this one could be used as a little um, bottom tuck or even just make it into a bookmark and then that little saying there a fall breeze and autumn leaves and then I backed it with this so um, any of this that is standalone or comes out of my journal will have some color to the back and then last but not least you have one more page border and this is just like a craft background with some script writing Kind of ledger paper over the top of it and then these tags also have the ledger paper look with the script writing now on my software i don't have the uh, capabilities of chopping off the edging there for the tag corners so you would just need to uh, trim those tag corners whenever you cut them out which doesn't make any difference when you are um, putting those in your journal or cutting them out anyways because you're going to trim that anyways but I have written at the top trim top corners on tags and then we've got these three little tags here that I added some florals to a little um, harvest label and then you've got these little little beady 
page accent pieces of ephemera there. So that is the autumn afternoon um, digital kit that I created over the weekend and I am so loving this kit. It's kind of, um, it's not too bright. You know, some of the pages have some blue in it, but it's really not that bright. And it's very vintage looking and I'm very excited to make something out of that. So I'm going to trim out all of those and fussy cut those pieces and out of my freebies and we will get started on that. Okay, so in this journal I'm about to make, I wanted some um, vintage looking book pages and I um, already had those in my stash and I wanted to um, fix them up just a little bit more so I made some faux coffee rings on these and I want to add some coffee dyed paper also to my journal and um, on these coffee dyed papers I also want the coffee rings the faux coffee rings so I've just got some uh, coffee and water in this bowl and I have a little mason jar one of the minis um, and I'm just dipping it in the coffee and I don't care if splatters get everywhere just even more authentic and then I'm just putting them down on the pages and they will dry so that it looks like that eventually um, this is a tedious you know process just because you have to wait on dry time but um, I'm about to show you how I dyed these papers and my dyeing process and the few different drying processes that I have um, little ideas that I have for you you could even do half on and half off that's a cute little idea but then you know you just put the rings wherever you want them and then it's time to um, let them dry and these will be added to my journal that I'm making so I have um, cut out all the pieces to my autumn afternoon digital kit so there's all the ephemera I just gotta ink it and then I've got to punch the holes on my tags and then here are all the pages some of them I roughed up on the edges and then some are just straight cut so that's all the pages that will go in along with coffee dyed pages and some book pages and then here are all of those page edges or belly bands or whatever you want to use them as. I've just got to cut around that scalloped edge of the lace on those and see we've got a uh, print on the back so even if they are on the edge and they hang off a little bit you're not going to see just stark white paper so there's our page edges and um, here is my process for um, dyeing these papers. This is what I did today all right so real life here in the pilot family uh household the dryer is going in the background <laughs> so um like i said i was just going to show y'all i have um coffee brewed in here and it was just like two uh, k cups and i run it through like four times and put that in there and then i just put uh, two handfuls of ice cubes in it and stirred that around so that gets your water added into it and then it cools down the brew also and I just have it in a little ceramic casserole dish and then I have um, this cooling rack sitting here with some paper towel underneath it and then I just kind of run the papers through it and I don't worry if I cover it all I just lay it over here on this and this is a little harder when I'm holding <laughs> uh, holding the camera instead of the camera being mounted um, but once I start laying more papers on top of this one these little 
edges here will get covered up and then it'll get darker. Um, I do add some essential oil to my coffee dye because um, after a while, coffee dye starts to smell icky to me. So um, I added, um, it's a citrus essential oil and that's what I added to this, maybe like six or seven drops. And that way it smells a little better <laughs> later on when I start to use it. Um, but I mean, that's, that's optional. But I do uh, share that with you because if you ever get one of my journals and it smells like oranges, <laughs> that's why. Oh, man. But that is all I did to the pages that I'm showing you now on my video. And there are a few ways you can dry your papers. You can bake them in the oven. I've got mine at 170, 170 degrees. Or what I usually do is lay out big bath towels and things and lay them on there like that to dry. That's usually what I do. Um, especially if you can um, lay them somewhere close to like an air vent, your AC or heating vent. Very, very effective way to dry your papers after you dye them. Or you can hang them to dry. <laughs> Uh, all you need is an old um, clothes hanger and some um, clothes pins and you hang up <laughs> your papers like that. So if you want to craft along with me, feel free. I want you to. Um, and all you will need to do if you want to use this kit, you don't have to use my kit, you can use whatever kit you want to. But if you want to use my kit, just go over to scrapbookingwithme.com and purchase that, download it, print it out, and then um, go ahead and ink all of your edges of your ephemera and punch your um, tag holes out at the top. And um, yeah, get all of this inked, get all of your little page edges inked. If you want to add some coffee or tea stained paper to your journal and some book pages, go ahead and do that. Um, if you want to do the coffee rings, you can. Don't worry about it if you don't want to. Um, I did do a little bit of coffee ring on this that has already dried. There's some of it. It's going to be very faint. It's not going to be something that... Um, you uh, see a bunch of it's just going to be kind of like in the background and if you like to journal in your journals <laughs> write a lot in them then that is something really good for you you get to have lots and lots of journal space and i'm going to try my best to fold this correctly so this is part one of our autumn afternoon this one I printed the background too small and what I'm thinking about doing is I'm not gonna fold this one yet I'm gonna go around with my sewing machine and I'm gonna put some stitch marks around the edges there so I think that'll help that page um, but if you want to craft along with me this is part one of our autumn afternoon journal. Go ahead and get up to this process with yours and then our next video we'll start putting the journal together and get our cover made and um, we will get this last one yet. Um, we'll get decorations put in. Hopefully we can get it um, all put together and finished by the next, the second, you know, part two. But if we don't, that's fine. We can always do a part three. So here's my other page I'm going to use. And like I said, I'm going to stitch around that one just to um, help with all of that white space. And then I'll ink around it probably too. So that'll be a little um, junkier page in my junk journal. And then all my page edges, all of my ephemera cut out. 
and waiting on some coffee dyed papers to dry so that we can add those to our signature too. So um, thanks so much for watching today. I hope that you pick up the autumn afternoon um, digital kit along with my freebies that I have on my coffee uh, website. Go over there and pick up those freebies if you want to. And um, links are in the description box below. The link to this on our website, I'll put a direct link in the description box below. If you have any questions, let me know. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye, y'all.